I'll go straight to the point. I don't have time for history lessons. Okay, what I am driving at is these two people are just amateurs in the occult world. We shouldn't allow them to bring up a war. A, a war that will cost us more than one life. Well, tell that to that fool, Ejike. I know that Linda deserves the end of the knife. But then, we cannot be the first to draw blood without the approval. Shakira and Ikemwai, their great mother, must release her to us. What if they fail? What if they refuse? With all your powers and threats. What if they refuse to release her to us? Are you going to wage war against them? Or are you going to allow our brotherhood being ridiculed by mere women? Dancing around naked in their coven? Derico, this has never been heard of. Even in the time of the old. Derico, I see this war as an inevitable one. Yes. And if we must fight this war, we have to fight it in a manner that all the evil spirits will be on our side. We have to trade with caution. Hello, Shigobodama. <laughs> I know you missed me. Of course. <laughs> I'll be seeing you very soon. But does your masculine body turns me on? <laughs> Who is there? Come in. Uh, of course. Good day, ma. The laundry service. Uh -huh. um, let me call you back, okay? Of course. Make sure you're close to your phone. All right. have a bright future, my boy. Why are you looking at things that will darken your future? That even the devil will have pity on you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, ma. I, I don't mean to, you know. Right. Sorry. It's okay. She don't look bad at all, my boy. I may as well indulge. Why don't you get into the shower and get rid of those smells that turns me off and hurry to my bed? Really? So I should go to the bathroom and shower then come do. Na 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 go go. Ha! Hey! Take me a chance. Eh? Are they come? Sure. Sure. Shakira, what is it? Eh? Why do you have to invade my privacy? I'm having a good time, can't you see? I will feel worse than that if I don't see you back there instantly. Shakira, please. I haven't had fun in a while. Just give me some time. Let me just, you know, get some pants down. I'll be with you, okay? Fine. 
I will give you only three hours. I'm waiting. I'm coming. We all are sinners. The least we can do is to enjoy every second that comes before the second coming. You know, I love you. I know. I love every one of you just like my own. I do not have kids, no husband, no sisters, just my co wives. And I wouldn't want to bury any of you. <laughs> so, what has been happening ever since I went for my hunting? <laughs> Linda. Linda. Linda just started a war. Which I'm not even interested to engage myself in. But as it is now, I do not have a choice. This particular war will consume lives. What? You mean these newcomers want to destroy everything we've built? Like they don't even know how long it took us to get to where we are right now. I mean, how can they come to mess up everything? Just take a good look at me. I have over 2,000 men in my part. Like young men. I have that destiny here. I use them however I want, whenever I want, and how I want to do it. Like I enjoy destroying that destiny of my body, my sonship, and everything. Just. Whenever I want it, it's <sighs> without them even realizing that it's me. They just see me as just a slave queen and nothing more. But, but what is wrong with her? You know, Linda is just a small child in our world. Do you know that? Don't say. And I'm sure she's even regretting. You know why she humiliated one of the brotherhoods of Ikinga. 
Bites of Lucifer, 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 Bites of Lucifer, the Queens of Darkness, Here we go. Lucifer, Lucifer, yes, Lucifer, Bites of Lucifer, the Queens of Darkness, Bites of Lucifer, while I tell, Bites of Lucifer, this lady's a barbaric, Bites of Lucifer, Wives of Lucifer, Bites of Lucifer, I am uh, blood. Sure, you can handle this. You might not like how this man make love. Agua de Atanliata. It swallows it whole. <laughs> Come show me what you got. Because I'm wet and ready to go. Right then, why don't you turn around and bless you? Shape what your mama gave me. Let you. me show you what I got. Ooh, come on, you got plenty. Now let me bless you. <laughs> 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 it swallows it whole. What is the excitement all about? Huh? Relax. Life na ton by ton. Emi loko. Na my ton to chop. Aguada tan liata. He swallows it whole. Honestly, I never knew you had a husband. How did you manage to hide this for long? I mean, it wasn't something that any of us, you know, liked. We never liked it. It wasn't a good memory, not to talk of sweet ones, so why keep it alive? We terminated everything with one agreement. What agreement? It's none of your business, young lady. Wait, please wait. Come on. Are you going to blow it on my face because I asked you an ordinary question? Now, will it be a bad idea if I hand Linda over to them? To get killed? Hell no. This is not this university small cult and all that. This 
is brotherhood of Ikenga. They are not going to make Linda's death an easy one, and you know it. They will not. They will subdue her spirit. They will cage her soul and make her to slave for them forever. So you won't do that. No, you won't. No. You mean like spiritual slavery? Exactly. So it's not an option. Yeah. Not an option, you're right. But if it's the head that wears the responsibility of a stupid, arrogant woman. Good night. This lady's a barbaric. Wives of Lucifer, wives of Lucifer, wives of Lucifer. Blood in their eyes, and they're hungry for blood like a blood sucking demon. Hate in their heart, no value for life. They can kill anybody. Ejike, why do you dishonor the greetings of a brother? Why did you people dishonor the oath of the brotherhood? <laughs> Ejike, it seems you are too stubborn to understand this. Look, not even the grandmaster can make Deriko change his mind. He does whatever he likes, his own way. And that is why he's called the snake. Fuck all those snake shit. You can now. I don't care of whatever snake that he is. Cobra, anaconda, I don't freaking care. Listen, I know what Deriko is doing. He's the corny type. He doesn't want to open up. He doesn't want to help a brother now that I'm in need. But guess what? Tell your Deriko that you see this war, I will fight it myself. AGK, you know you are new in this business. You are new in this game. I've been here for a very long time. I can tell you the tales of Deriko. He's a very dangerous man. Deriko is not a man to be toyed with. So I advise you to your own best interest. You can take your revenge, but never you step your foot on the Rico's path. Don't you try it. So what about the assassin you sent to kill Linda? They failed. <laughs> mm, you're happy, right? They failed. Uh, I know that already. You know. And that is why I'm telling you to lie low for the moment. Lie low. I will not lie low. You can, I will not lie low with my lips. I will not lie low. You can, listen, they don't call me AGK Malaysia in vain. Do you know what I have done in Malaysia? Do you know the people I roll with in Malaysia? Do you know men, strong men from different African countries that I do business with? The Rico thinks because he's old and has white beards, he can mess with me. I'm a bad boy too. I will do this my way. Hmm? I will do this my freaking way. Fuck all of you. I will do it myself. <laughs> ah, AGK. Don't you ever try Deriko. Because you will definitely change your name from AGK to AGK. Tony? 
Honey? Honey? What is it? I'm fine. I'm okay. Go back to sleep. Anya, are you okay? You've been avoiding me since that incident in the car. I I know it was my fault and I'm sorry. I've apologized countless times. I said I'm fine. I'm just having difficulties in sleeping. Go back to bed. Master, I summon you. Thank you. Thank you for honoring my invitation. Have I done anything wrong? Why summon me? Why your wife is counting the seconds it will take you to come out of the bathroom? No, Grandmaster. My wife is sleeping. Are you calling me a liar? No. Grandmaster, I can never call you a liar. But... I'm very sure of what I just said. I watched her 
slept. In fact, I made her to sleep. You are the same. She is two steps ahead to the door. I will come back to you after this night. Thank you. What is it? Were you with someone? Like, I heard voices. Were you alone? Are you seeing anyone else apart from me? Huh? And you, why are you monitoring me? I thought you were sleeping. Don't you know I'm your man? Sometimes I need my privacy. Listen, if you continue this attitude of yours, we have different rooms in this house. You will start sleeping in the other room. No, no. My darling, please don't. You cannot do that. You can't change our sleeping pattern, please. How do you want me to feel when I need you around me? When I need my man to touch me? Please don't. Hey, you know I love you so much, right? I love you more. As you can see, I'm already hot. Look at my face. I'm smoking. I want you to take me to Cloud Nine. I'm gonna cool you. Grandmaster! Grandmaster! I summon you. Welcome. Grandmaster. AGK, is this your offering? Yes. <laughs> hmm. You cannot make your supplication. Grandmaster, I have no supplications to make. Rather, I ask that the oath of the Brotherhood be invoked against the Rico. The Rico? Why? He has not done anything, nor break any rule. He has, Grandmaster. He has broken the first rule he taught me himself. That any member of this brotherhood that deserves justice, justice should be given to him. What is really going on here, AGK? Speak to me. Grandmaster, I was humiliated by a woman. She slapped me in front of everybody. And the worst part of it all is that she keeps appearing in my dreams. I cannot sleep. Her demons are all over me. Demons are nothing to be used, AGK. It is your high request for vengeance that is causing you all this problem. But Grandmaster, I need to feel good. I need to feel like a bona fide member of this brotherhood. I have made lots of sacrifices. 
I sacrificed my mother. Here. Yeah. My father was sacrificed here. My brother. I have sacrificed a lot of lives in this brotherhood. So I think I deserve justice. Anything I want should be given to me. Then kill the woman. You are rich and powerful. Kill her. I can't kill her, Grandmaster. If I can, why would I come and disturb you? She belongs to a secret court. And it's only Derico that can kill her. But he refuses to do it. Then I will talk to him. Derico, you must honor the oath to your brothers. This is an insult that cannot be swept under the carpet. Not the president, nor the governor, can try what she did and not get burnt. I will not fight Shakira. Why? Never. I am the snake that is the tiger for dinner. There is no living mortal that cannot be under my power. I made sure of that. You of all people should know the extent I have gone in search of power. And the power is restricted because of... No, please. Don't speak it out. The walls have ears. I cannot risk anyone knowing my secret. And your secret cannot be hidden forever. Please leave my child out of this. I don't know how you know about him. But I pray that this is the only secret between you and I. Like I said, the walls have ears. And I pray that the ears were closed when you mentioned his name. Else, this war will never end. <laughs> this is the motivation you need. I promise you, no harm will come to him. I advise you, you take up arms and do the needful. Remember, a tiger is useless without its claws and its teeth. I am not the tiger. I am the snake that eats the tiger for dinner. Claws or no claws, teeth or no teeth. He is my dinner. Aguada Tandiata. I swallow it whole. He's a monster in the human form. He fears no man, no spirit. He possessed the kind of power nobody can test. Oh, brotherhood of Igenga. Who is the strongest man? Good afternoon, sir. Don't address me as sir. I am Mazi Derry. I will have one of Newe as a whole. Next time you address me, show some decorum. Else you'll be served that day. So sorry, sir. Sorry. Mazi, one of uh, Abolo, Abolo, one of Newe. As if I am the child of Forgive me. You know I'm a school teacher. I inspect for daily life. I see. But have you taken out time to monitor my son? As in to know how he's faring in his studies. Have you? Oh yes. He's brilliant. Your son is very brilliant. As I speak to you right now, he holds all the records in school. Currently. Yes. Is it because of what his mother and I donate to you? Or is it because of his brain? Because I know you people. You can dress up a pig and shower him all the accolades in the world as long as he pays the right price. No, Mazi. In fact, Ebubenna is very brilliant. However, most times he's sad. He complains about your absence. But, Mazi, don't you think it would be nice if you come in and see him today? 
Please. Yes. Get out. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, uh, Mazi. The, the school actually appreciates your kind gesture. I mean, God bless you, sir. Will you keep quiet? What does God have to do with this meeting? Huh? I mean, where is God in this meeting? He possessed the kind of power nobody can test. Oh, brotherhood of Igenga, who is the strongest man? Brotherhood of Igenga. I know, I know, I was supposed to be in the program. I'm so sorry. So, how did it go? I hope it went well. <laughs> and how is my later champion doing? <laughs> I hope he's coping, he's doing very well in class. I beg your pardon? Derrico visited my son? Sound too good on the phone. What happened? Shira, can you imagine? There we go. Visited it with my son in school. And that stupid teacher, Ketchi, told me that they never saw face to face. I'm sure Derico must have brainwashed her to say so. I'm confused. He's your ex. I mean, the first time you mentioned that matter, you just stopped. Besides, why would he visit your son? Wait, wait. You have a son? Why am I knowing about it now? Ebubenna is not your relative, but your son. Am I correct? Oh, come on, Shira. You know you love me so much. I'm your favorite. So why don't you tell me? Tell me everything from the beginning. I mean, tell me every detail so that I can understand you perfectly. Now I feel like killing Linda, believe me. Had it been, I didn't initiate this girl into this court. I mean, I wouldn't have had any reason to be worried about Derigo. What are you talking about? Derrico is the most wicked human being I've ever seen on earth. He is evil. I'm telling you. And his mom was a witch. She hated me with the last drop of her blood. Why? Because she felt I wasn't good enough for her son. That was the only reason. She used her black magic to eat up all my unborn children.
who is there? Come in. Oh, Sister Hannah. Pastor. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. You can sit down. Thank you. Like I was, I was saying, your mother-in-law, she is a witch. And you have to go into proper prayer and fasting. Yes, Master. You mean Teviko is a wizard born of a witch? Warlock from bed. He's evil. If He's powerful like he claimed to be. Why bother joining the Brotherhood? I mean, why joining the cult? Evil is not enough. The more evil you become, the more you crave for it more. Nothing is sweeter than darkness. There we go. A.K.A. Agwo. Knows nothing aside evil. Badass queen. <laughs> now I understand the reason you don't want to fight him. Because you are afraid of him. You better watch your mouth, young lady. I know myself. I am not afraid of Derrico. Not anymore. I repeat. I know myself. Continue. There we go. Sweetheart. <sighs> Sweetheart. I have a burden that I want to release. A burden. Oh, wait a few months and the burden will be ready for you to push. And when that time comes, you push it like it's your last. And before you know it, pyam, just like Okoro, you'll be sliding out. Okay? Good. But that's not the burden I'm talking about. Honey, please be serious with me right now. <sighs> If this is what pregnancy does to a woman, I don't want you to get pregnant again. Oh yeah? I'm sure your mother will see to it that it comes to pass the way you said it. Because she has been the one eating up the children I carried in this womb till this one. What? Is it true or not, honey? Is what part true? Is it the part about you accusing her of being a witch? Or the part about her swallowing and eating all our children? Which part? The part that she is a witch. And also she gave birth to you. Through the power of evil.
I killed my mother-in-law that night. And up until now, I'm shocked how I managed to kill a powerful witch when I was just an ordinary church goer. <laughs> I'm still confused. I mean, what happened? He watched you kill his mom. So, what next? He didn't do anything. Of course, I know that you were going to ask this question. He loved me so much. Derrica loved me. The love we had before that night was really stronger than the bond he had with darkness. Something happened that night. While I was stabbing the cops repeatedly, something came out of her and entered me. You, I gave you everything, yet you took my mother from me. As if I didn't give you all myself. I wasn't even supposed to marry you because my parents stood against it, the felt. You were way older than I am, yet I married you. And what did I get in return? Your mother and the wickedness. Don't make me kill you from where you're standing now. Don't even waste your time in trying to test your newfound power on me because it won't work. Your mother was a powerful witch and I inherited a lot from her, therefore, I won't go down easily. I can even fight God himself just to protect my unborn child. For the records, I said I was sorry for killing your mom, but I don't regret it. However, I beg for a truth. For the sake of our unborn child, may we not come against each other. So you expect me to let you be? Mm -mm. I expect you to protect the only legacy you have on earth, which is this child. If you refuse, no problem. But have it in mind that you will go down first before me. Of course, Derrico. I know you have no power. Of course. That's the reason I joined my own coven. So how is it going to be like? Truths or war? Aguada Tangliata. It swallows it whole. But for the sake of my unborn child, I will not come for your head. But notice, if a strand of hair on his head falls, the heavens sweep, rain blood, and I'll come riding in cloud of fury after you. Because of our son. I am telling you this so that all of you will stop treating me like some evil or a coward. I have not forgiven Shakira for killing my mother over some pastor's stupid vision. 
This is ridiculous. Now I see why your hands are tired. And what about the pastor? Have you sacrificed him to the great God of his kingdom? Come with me. That's the bastard who think his little vision mean anything in the world of darkness. And that's the same fool who told my wife that my mother is a witch. For the last 15 years, he has been renewing my blood bank. I can never lack my man, never. He is my reservoir forever. Hmm. This is deep ultimate punishment anyone can get on this life. So there we go. With all these things that you have shown me, what are you going to do about it, GK? What do you suggest? Um, I think... Apology. Yes. A well-tended apology will solve all this dispute. No, Linda will never do that. It is not possible. Those women are full of themselves. They cannot agree to those terms. No. Then, one of you will have to break the promise. Yes, it's either you or Shakira. Because you can't continue to stay like this. He's a monster in the human form He fears no man, no spirit He possessed the kind of power nobody can test Bastard. Oh brotherhood of Ikenga Who is the strongest man? Brotherhood of Ikenga How was the ministry? He's so deadly and mischievous. He is a monster. Santa, cha cha cha. Hey, there he go. You were so hilarious. I told you. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm enjoying it myself. Mm -hmm. So this is life. <laughs> this is life. The party in there is lit. Mm -hmm. Very lit. <laughs> you know, I've been wondering, where have I been? I mean, where have you all been? And I've been wallowing in poverty all these years of my life. <laughs> Thanks to you. I mean, <laughs> without you guys, what would I have become? Exactly. You guys made me. Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Nina. And you are welcome once again. Like you were told, we are the wives of Lucifer. So whatever we want, we get it at a snap of our finger. <laughs> so cheers once again. Of course. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. against the Shakira. I'm against it! I know why you're doing all this. But it's high time we took the fight. So then, we have to do it! Lisa, come on! Say something! 
Surely you loved Nena. I mean, she's supposed to be one of us. No, she's not. She's not one of us. Every court has a pawn. She's just a pawn used by the devil to do the work. That was the reason she wasn't fortified in the first place. Yes. What's the hell are you talking about? And here I am, thinking that I know everything. Shakira, are you aware of this? Now you better sit. Sit down. You are getting on my nerves. I am getting on your nerves? I can't believe that. That girl betrayed her sister to be part of us, died for nothing. And you sit down there and talk to me about getting on your nerves. Who told you that you're talking about? Now, one more word from you. I will remind you that all of you here like my younger ones. So you better say it! Else, the next lightning will come from me. Cheers, it. We did not have a choice! So you better cheer. To meet with. There we go. To plan for the meeting. Till then, no one leaves this place. <laughs> <laughs> 